G'day all and welcome back to my World of Warships training videos. I am your host Noppers. And can you believe we're already at number 4 in this series and we've passed our first hour of gameplay now so I can't call this one exploring the first hour. Officially then let's call it the second hour and that was the cleverest thing I could come up with. However there's still so much material to cover we have destroyers, cruisers and pretty soon battleships on our radar. Quick disclaimer there though, radar does not come into play until higher tiers. I've put together this training video to take a look at the next part of our journey, the US Tier 2 destroyer Samson and the US Tier 3 cruiser St. Louis. They are two of my favourite low tier ships. We are well into the PvP zone now so our skills need to be improving and our situational awareness needs to be consistent if we are to survive and prosper. And that's a great point in itself actually. At this lower level it's easy enough for someone like me with 4000 battles or so under my belt. I started as a very early alpha tester. For a newer player there is a lot to think about and a lot of unknowns so don't be afraid to play co-op, to hone your skills, try new things, try new ships and so on. For the moment we'll look at the next step in our new account then. Here is Old Faithful the Chester and our next account milestone is access level 5 which will unlock containers but we will talk about them later. For the moment we'll open the modules section after that last battle in video 3. We have a nice pool of experience available, we did pretty well shooting against those battleships. We should firstly upgrade our gun range on the Chester, we need to do it anyway to unlock the Samson, and this upgrade gives us a 10% or 1km range increase. Once we've completed this here, we can see that we've got some experience left to unlock everything, so the first thing we'll do is unlock the St. Louis. I've got to say that right, St. Louis, not St. Louis. We open that one up, you can see lots of modules, and this is a great ship, and if you're a bit worried about destroyers or your skills, I would suggest take this ship out for a few battles to get your gameplay skills up. It is a great ship. Uh, over on the modules though you can see the Carolina and the Phoenix or the South Carolina and the Phoenix. They're the next two, so battleship and cruiser in the tree. And we'll have a quick look at the tree now to see what we've got, if I can click it right. And you can see on the left is the South Carolina and then below is the Phoenix. So there's our two ships to unlock next after the St. Louis. Our other options still available to us because we've still got the Chester across to the Samson to go. So we'll go back to the Chester now and we can probably unlock the Samson if we've got enough experience. Yes we have. So let's click on the Samson and we'll open that up. And we have a quick look here. You can see there's modules for the Samson and the Wix is the next destroyer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through some of the housekeeping. I've purchased it already. You can see I've applied camouflage to it or camo to the ship. It provides bonuses like reduced detection range, greater dispersion of enemy fire and bonuses to things like experience or credits. There are so many different types of camo in this game. My recommendation is for you to just go to the exterior tab up the top there under the battle button. So that's exterior and see what's available for your account. Seriously, you get a bazillion, yes that's a real word, I looked it up, a bazillion camos given to you in this game to help with the grind. Something else I'm going to show you now is how to division or div up. At the bottom left is the chat area and friends management area. And when I open it up you can see I have added my main account, Noppers, and a friend's name is there too, Hermitech. He's politely offered to assist me with this part of the training video so I'm going to form a division with him. I click the little plus symbol there next to his name and it forms a division and sends an invite automatically to him and it turned yellow, his name did, so therefore, yep, there's a message, he's joined our division now. We have three slots in total and you just hover over things and it comes up with a pop-up, but I'm not going to invite anyone else for now, it'll just be Hermie and I, and uh, because he's with us and everything's good to go and he's picked a ship and he's readied up and we've readied, it's battle time. And with the magic of technology, we're into battle already. So, housekeeping for the ship, first thing is I'm going to Charlie, Let's get the ship moving. I'm going to use the Alt key, hover over the torpedoes, see what they do. 5k range, fair bit of damage. I'm going to do my cog setting and see the AA there. It is a good habit to do to turn your AA off or any aircraft off. So hit the P or Papa key, see it there. It's come up. You disable that on destroyers for when they have a longer range for their anti aircraft. Uh, aircraft spotting range is fairly low usually. 
and you don't want to be spotted if you can so it's a good habit so there's the circles of range that's where the torps go to and I'm going to go around that corner there or near that corner and that's where the enemy's going to appear now if I hit my three key here you can see I've got this big spread now if I hit the three key again you're going to see it narrow down and that's the two torpedo widths of or spread should I say of torpedoes and look where they are I've got two sets of two tubes on either side of the ship they are awesome these torpedoes on this little thing because you can punch them out left and right all day now I've also got this engine boost and a smoke canister and you can hover over them like I am and they show you what they're doing but it's time for 10 seconds on torpedoes I do suggest you google this stuff though that cone there on the ocean that is my aiming for these torps on this side the big green expanse on the water there that's where I can actually aim these particular torps on this side same on the other side normally there's a white cone there when you've got an enemy ship targeted that's the predicted path you should aim at that however ships turn and move and slow down and speed up and stuff so that white cone is only a predicting factor it's not guaranteed so you have to be a little bit clever about how you do this because I want to uh, shoot now because I've run out of torpedoes for a while and I'm capping an area or capturing an area I'm going to do some gunnery I am detected here um, so I'm going too fast look at my speed see how it's orange it means that I'm going too fast for the smoke and it's therefore not covering me so if I slow down it'll get to a point where it'll cover me but I'm taking a bit too much fire out there's our white cone so I'm gonna aim nowhere near it because I've decided that ship's gonna stop out there and I'm aiming for the destroyer in the smoke I'm gonna try not to hit Hermie here because although we are communicating we're both pretty rubbish sometimes so he's likely to get hit by me so I'm swinging the ship around I fired my port torpedoes I've still got the ones on the starboard side loaded ready to go my port ones actually loaded there as well uh, so I'm going to shoot at the cone now a little bit there we go sort of predicting that ship a bit but see it's, it's shifting left to right it means he was actually turning and whoops there's that destroyer I was torping he's actually sent some back at us because he knows we're hiding in this smoke and torpedoes can creep up on you in the smoke so Hermes running off to hide in the back there and right we've got a bit of gameplay going on here so what we might do is lob a couple more torps down range we might do a little bit of gunnery against this battleship uh, you know, using the smoke there to cover me and because I know you've already seen me play we might just fast forward this clip through towards the end uh, I guess this is the Benny Hill segment when we um, copyright Benny Hill segment where we run around dodge a whole bunch of torpedoes there you can slow down this footage if you like and uh, watch me play through it you can see sort of I'm using smoke I'm trying to position myself and everything and now we'll come out to where we are getting close to enemy ships and we'll start trying to kill off these guys we're pretty close and there's torps left right and center but we're not getting enough hits uh, with our torps and they're lobbing them back at us it's a little bit lively yeah that's how I like it though you can see from my play style that I like to be up there in the front having a go at everything I'm trying to use the torpedoes here at the predictive curve uh, but you know I figure this guy's sort of swinging around the left and he'll keep turning in so I'm hoping he might turn into those torps uh, but it looks like he's going to turn away so he'll, get, he'll miss everything this ship here the South Carolina I'm trying to talk about that's what you really want to focus with destroyers is battleships uh, the problem I've got is I've had hardly any hit points left so I'm punching torps down range oh I got that guy I got him that was lucky maybe good shooting but probably a little bit of luck all right I'm narrowing my uh, torp width here so I'm gonna I'm gonna die apparently I'm gonna focus fire there so you can see I've got a very narrow spread of torps going at that battleship he's gonna struggle to turn uh, away from those torpedoes he won't see him until late and I'm hoping hoping fingers crossed that he's not seen them quick enough no it looks like he has unfortunately so whilst he is burning out reasonably well he's just been killed I didn't get him with a torp game over but as it turns out a victory 20k damage cool I'm about the middle of the pack there that's okay Hermie did well uh, he played well I should have recorded it whoops here's the kicker 461,000 potential damage which means that damage did not apply to other people on the team it was the enemy shooting at me and missing team won't thank you they bloody well should because you saved them all that damage but anyway moving on okay opening the 
next one so having the modules we'll have a look at the wicks we're going to research that and notice we have to unlock the samson hull that's the chain we have to do that so it just does it automatically we're not going to buy a slot uh, again we've got plenty left still and here we are a tier 3 destroyer quickly look at the tech tree and we can see where we sit over there we're looking to the clemson next but we're going to cross back over to the st louis st louis sorry uh, i want to play this ship for now and show you it because it's great it's got some modules we need to unlock but it's such a good ship it's going to take us to battleships right let's have a look at its guns shall we 10 by 152 mils and 18 by 76 mils so let's take them into battle and again with the magic of technology okay check the map heading out to charlie's side that's simple plan for now what i will focus on on this map or this battle is their function keys and the messaging service so you can use the bravo key and bring up this spiral and it gives you all these options when you do that it'll send it to your team when you click on one of those if you open the chat box there and hit the tab you go through to all if you now do that spiral window and tell say everyone good luck you can see there it's sending it out to both teams that's the different coloring in white writing whereas in game team chat is green and someone's just sworn back at me so same to you buddy uh, that's that one there it's a favorite when things are not going well and again you can see there I've talked to my team if you want to do it to the other team you've got to open it up hit the tab key to go to all and then send it down range to them this guy seems to have a swearing problem that's fine remember also you can go into your settings here to the controls tab and turn off battle chat if you don't want to hear people talking but that stuff comes up okay we've got an enemy here let's give him some rounds and we're going to look at the bottom left and see how many rounds i can have downrange big broadside lots of rounds raining fire one of the things i haven't covered very well and i'm going to cover it now is see where i'm aiming and remember i talked about a crosshair picking the right one and being able to predict where that ship ends up see how some of my rounds are falling backwards behind him and so on you've got to actually make sure that you're guessing and aiming and that's one of the fun parts about this game is estimating where the rounds are going to land and predictive fire I really enjoy that I tend to be reasonably good at it and then I tend to be rubbish at it sometimes too as you've seen here clearly I'm doing very well and I'm doing it in a ship that has a lot of guns to shoot with and as I'm pivoting the ship around I'm opening up different batteries but I'm keeping up a fairly constant stream of fire on this guy look I'm going to swing around to the left here now my right or starboard side batteries are now open straight away they were ready to go and he's dead and it's because I don't have turrets that have to swivel all the way around like earlier ships that you remember uh, the Erie remember that it had the turrets that actually had to swing all the way around so you turned your ship and this bit here of course the old torpedoes downrange okay we're clearly a bit further on in the battle now uh, it was just a lot of random gameplay to get us to more action sequences I don't want to bore you with ships sailing around you can do that in your own time uh, again with this predictive gunnery uh, this ship is slower because it's a bigger ship it's a battleship so therefore uh, I've got planes coming in okay because you've got carriers completely forgot about that hey welcome carriers and their rockets coming at me carriers are a whole new thing that I have to deal with at this level apparently the carrier players their planes will spot you and they can also attack you really seriously go and look at all the videos on carriers how to play them what they do what the different things are I could talk here for an hour carriers are also the biggest rage point in this game I think although subs are in so hold my beer as they say uh, carriers really do frustrate people righto more play here you can see some bombers are coming in on me there I'm trying to gun this guy one of the things you do with your ship when carriers are coming in especially the earlier tiers is just try and pivot turn your ship a lot uh, maneuver in World War two for those historians amongst you you will have seen uh, destroyers or smaller ships in particular but just every ship really uh, I remember seeing footage of the Yamato trying to dodge aircraft and it was doing all these fishtails and big loops and all sorts of stuff uh, so it is actually a legitimate 
real life strategy in trying to maneuver your ship to take less damage because the airplanes have a certain hit window that they've got to aim for all right anyway i'm going to yell at somebody here um yeah give me some anti-aircraft support that'll do uh, it seems that i'm fairly popular at the moment with the enemy he must be watching my videos um he's going to bomb me again i've dodged all of those i think uh, and I've got a destroyer here now. I'm perfect for taking out destroyers. Oh, torpedoes. Yep, got to watch that. See the smoke ahead of me. Uh, I did know that before. I kind of look for that sort of stuff, but it's, it's sort of second and third level uh, teachings, I suppose. So yeah, there you go. If you want a good learning point there, I knew that smoke was there. I knew there was a destroyer there, so I've tried to keep my nose pointed in that general direction, so as to avoid uh, getting torped. And because I'm permanently lit at the moment, because everything's flying over my head, shooting at me, um, <laughs> I've got to be careful because everybody knows where I am. And battleships will start shooting at me in a second, I'm sure, if there's any left. Um, that can be quite stressful when you're in a cruiser with half hit points, when you've got torpedoes and battleships shooting at you, and everybody else, of course. Now we can see this destroyer here, and we don't have the same trajectory as the area did there's some more tops yep uh, so we shot the rocks there so you've got to be aware of that stuff that the particulars of each ship it's oh look I can never remember all of this stuff I have to look up the bores yeah the 152 mil data and things like that for the gun size because I just don't know it at the top of my head uh, and and maybe you should I don't know I don't think I'm that competitive uh, this guy's running into an island, so we're going to give him as much as we can if we can actually hit the bugger. But I do know that, yeah, there are some... No, it turns out I can't hit him. Oh, I've run into an island too, so... All right, bit of situational awareness there. I am trying to feed myself through this channel, but uh, aircraft there. This is quite protective in here. Torpedoes from aircraft can't get me, and uh, destroyers can sort of torp at me, but I, I'm fairly safe at the moment. He smoked up, so that's a bit annoying. Um these types of things that you learn about the speed of a ship and so on they become more critical as you go up in higher tiers so a destroyer is fairly quick we know that they've got limited uh well they've got good concealment so we can't see them very well at at cl uh, long range uh see how fast he is and he's maneuvering he's twisting and turning he's probably using the a and d key to just fishtail a bit makes it very hard for me to hit him but i do have this lovely circular set of guns on this ship so no matter where I am I can always point my mouse at something and be able to shoot because of the fact that I've got guns either side and some torps coming in there I'm just going to slow down for those and try not to get hit by them they are different torps they're from a, uh, a Pan Asia destroyer which means that they don't hit other destroyers but they do hit bigger ships like battleships and so on uh, those sorts of things you learn as you go but the other parts I'm talking about here we've just flicked on to a new scene here uh, we're talking about knowing this ship for example is slow therefore I'm gonna aim a little bit closer to its nose than if it was a destroyer if it was a destroyer I'd be aiming at about the 10 mark on my uh, crosshair maybe even beyond 10 whereas with this battleship you can see I'm clearly not aiming that far in front of him what's that five or six or something like that um, those types of things you learn as you go this understanding of how gunnery works and how your rounds fly down range and how long they take to get to the targets you'll get this as you go some people will be natural it'll be like the old phrase shooting from the hip uh, I tend to be pretty good at shooting from the hip in real life so uh, shooting off the mouth too probably but shooting from the hip and so I when I started playing this game I found that I was able to shoot fairly accurately fairly early. I'm doing the alt click thing on that guy, so if I get close enough, my secondary is going to engage him. Uh, island coming up, got to watch for that. But yeah, the, the predictive fire, look, I'm almost aiming at this guy's nose now because he's going so slowly. And he may have changed his speed, he may have dropped to a quarter speed or something. You've got to take that into account. When you're, when you're looking at a ship, you've got to be able to estimate or guesstimate how fast it's going and predict your fire accordingly. Now we are coming up on the final stages of the battle here. Uh, we're about 859 points there of the of the victory. This guy I'm shooting at here, he's uh, he's almost dead, so I'm hoping for a quick kill here. 
and I do have an enemy destroyer there as well somewhere nearby on our on that cap circle so let's try and clear this guy out quickly and then move to the destroyer I've got to be careful where torpedoes will start coming in from that smoke cloud if he's got torps up uh, yep cool I killed that guy now turn my nose towards the destroyer I've still got up to five turrets that are going to be able to shoot this guy if I fishtail left to right a bit but importantly I can react to these torpedoes that I know are going to come out up oh, game was over so we lost oh, that's a little bit frustrating look how well I did there and I missed so often <laughs> that's hundreds of rounds that I missed potential damage again what a great ship all right so let's talk through the next part of the journey having a look at the modules for this and we want to unlock that fella so we've got to unlock those bits as well and that's your pathway we've got ship xp but look at that 5000 free experience that was granted account management wise but it allows us to spend it on this ship and unlock it now and you can see the two values that we're unlocking it with plus all those extra modules how awesome that i've got that free experience to use credits plenty i've got doubloons i've got still got free experience and i convert experience by using doubloons the south carolina though with that free experience i can unlock its hull and add some more hit points and artillery so look at that big big guns compared to the st louis uh half the size more or less so but the reload time's bigger see the big turrets four big turrets again uh, same problem as we had in the Erie so you're not going to have that shoot wherever you feel like all the time you've got to turn these turrets and they take a long time to turn here's my camo I've got to make sure I go in here and do this now so I'm picking the camouflage and I'm clicking enable this makes sure that it respends all right and it increases my concealment and stuff so mm, you're gonna find it hard to conceal a battleship all right into the signals and there we go equal speed Charlie London now I'm gonna put all these on as many as I feel like doing anyway and it gives me extra stuff like free experience uh, you know and this these are the uh, awards that I got in game they give me these flags as well uh, so there we go fire extinguishing slower that's important for battleships because people like to set fire to you I'm gonna click enable got to remember to do that okay back into the modules now I can unlock the hull as I said before because I've got free experience so I think we might actually go ahead and do that shortly I've also got the propulsion there we can change the maximum speed uh, which will change the maneuverability it's a pretty slow old fella at the moment and then of course we've got the gunfire control system so those are all useful things for us to upgrade the ship straight away so we're going to do those two at least 2100 free experience getting used and then we've got to buy each one in turn so it doesn't let you do that and that's improved our ship look at that it's changed now it's got better decking and stuff and then we do the uh, uh, gun directors and that'll give us longer range on our weaponry as well and that's always useful on a battleship because range is your friend here from cruisers take her into battle maybe next video folks thanks for being here i hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you soon